On January 29, 2017, Alexandra Bissonnette entered the Islamic Cultural Center in Quebec City while Muslims were gathered in prayer. He shot and killed six people and injured 19 others. At the time, the shooting was the most fatal act of political violence in Canada since 1989, and it was widely recognized across the country as a heinous act of Islamophobia. Islamophobia is defined as the unfounded fear and or hatred of Islam or Muslims, leading to violence and systemic discrimination. But massacres in mosques are just the tip of the Islamophobia iceberg. After the shooting, negative attitudes and suspicion toward Muslims remained high. Anti-Muslim hate crimes actually shot up across Canada. The mosque was voted down in a town referendum in its bid to build a cemetery to bury their dead. All of this, and yet most Canadians still dismissed Islamophobia as a serious problem. Islamophobia also includes skewed media representation. The CBC spent only five minutes covering the mosque shooting the night it happened. And the day after, the Globe and Mail dedicated a mere side column on the front page. And generally, studies show that violence committed by Muslims is covered much more than violence against Muslims. This helps perpetuate state practices that both over-police Muslims and under-protect them. Less than a year after the mosque shooting, Public Safety Canada said that violent Islamist ideology is still the greatest threat to Canada, reinforcing perceptions of Muslims as terrorists. But far-right extremists and white supremacists are responsible for many times more acts of violence. And yet the label of terrorists is reserved almost exclusively for Muslims not just in the media, but the legal system as well. While the Quebec mosque shooter wasn't even charged with terrorism, Muslims have been convicted of terrorism without actually injuring a single person. Incidents like the Quebec mosque shooting are enabled by a whole deeper iceberg of policies and practices. To really understand and address Islamophobia, we have to look beyond incidents of mass violence to what lies underneath the surface. <laughs>